Listen closely. Hear that? It's a fish grunt, the Arapaima's wild percussive mating call. Welcome to the grunt mystery. Deep in the blackwater hush of the Amazon, where the river runs like dark tea, there's a sound you're not supposed to hear. It's a low, rumbling vibration that seems to come from the water itself. A grunt coming from a fish. Meet the Arapaima, a living fossil. As one of the largest freshwater fish on Earth, this air-breathing giant can grow up to three meters long. It breaks the surface not with a splash, but like a submarine breaching, its armored scales glistening. But here's the real mystery. During their elaborate mating rituals, Arapaima produce these deep, low-frequency grunts. This isn't random noise, it's deliberate communication. In water so thick with silt and tannins that it's nearly opaque, sight fails. But sound doesn't. Those powerful bass notes travel further, cut through the murk, and declare, I'm here. Using arrays of hydrophones, scientists can triangulate the source of these grunts, mapping the unseen social lives of the fish. The recordings reveal short, chesty pulses, like a distant drumbeat, likely used to coordinate movements, claim territory, and perfectly sync the moment eggs meet milt. This vocal strategy makes perfect sense, because Arapaima are incredibly attentive parents. After spawning, the male carries a shimmering cloud of fry, carefully herding them with his mouth, while the larger female patrols the perimeter, a fierce guardian against predators. In the noisy, crowded and dangerous world of the Amazon floodplains, keeping the family together might just start with a simple, resonant grunt. But why grunts? Low frequencies are masters of this environment. They bend around obstacles like submerged routes and travel long distances underwater with minimal loss of signal, especially at night when visual cues vanish completely. And Arapaima are perfectly built to feel them. Their bodies are covered in pressure-sensitive lateral lines, and their massive frames are physically tuned to the base. It's a sound so profound, even you could feel it. It's not a note you'd hum, but a deep, primal vibration you'd feel in your ribs. A secret language spoken in the key of the river itself.